Welcome back to Mornings. About two months ago, we introduced you to dentist Dr. Angelo Lazarus and a patient Jessica McGowan. Now, Jessica's smile needed a bit of help and uh, the good doctor offered his services. And uh, we're looking this morning at the results of our morning makeover. And now, before we do that, we, uh, we want to have a look at how uh, Jessica looked before. In fact, let's have a look at that photograph. There you go. Now, this is Jessica about two months ago. Um, uh, before she uh, went the last couple of months in doing some of the treatments with uh, with Angelo. So we welcome Angelo and Jessica. Good morning, one and all. Good morning. Okay, the particular problem that Jessica had, it uh, it was more than just, so it was a saliva problem? What, there was what a combination was of problems involved with um, Jessica's teeth, primarily, as you know, that she had, did have a problem with salivary flow, so that in turn makes the teeth more susceptible to decay. Mm -hmm. The other thing that complicated Jessica's situation was that her teeth are a little bit twisted and crowded as well. So it makes it a lot harder to keep them clean. Mm -hmm. And I think primarily one of the biggest problems that Jessica's had was um, a bit of bad dentistry done in the past. Mm -hmm. The twisted and crowded is a very, very common problem, one I think a lot of Australians watching can, can actually relate to and also previous dentistry. So, uh, of course, two months later, we've got to do the results, <laughs> Jessica. Yes. So smile, <laughs> you're on morning's camera. <laughs> what a beauty, are you happier now? Yeah, no, I think it's amazing, what the difference, yeah. And it's so, been a couple of months, uh, any pain involved? Well, a bit of discomfort, but not actually pain, I wouldn't say. Mm. Um, but what a fabulous result because I know we talked last time you didn't want to smile, you felt self-conscious. Yeah, what yeah. difference has it made to your life? Well, I've noticed a lot of people, they're not picking that I've had my teeth done but they're sort of saying, oh, gee, you look well, you know. So I think that's, I guess it's made me look better overall. Okay. Um, now I'm just going to ask you to look down that camera and be very yeah. still and smile for us so we can actually get the before and afters. I know we're evil like this, aren't we? <laughs> There you go. So we can actually match it up to what we did before. Now, let's walk through. Clearly, um, how did you deal with the, the twisted and crowded issue? Okay. Um, now, this is a common problem, like you said. And ideally, what we'd want to do is realign Jessica's teeth by straightening them. There's a number of ways to do that. But in Jessica's particular case, because she had other problems with old fillings, etc., which weakened her teeth, mm -hmm. we were sort of forced to do something else, and that is to rebuild her teeth and reshape her teeth. So we took that opportunity to straighten her teeth with porcelain veneers. Okay, but first you did remove the old fillings. Yeah, absolutely. They were the amalgam ones? No, um, in the front teeth she had white fillings, mm -hmm. um, but they were leaking and they were stained, and they were compromising both the health of the teeth and also the appearance of the teeth. So we elected to remove those, and by using porcelain veneers there, we were able to both reinforce the teeth and obviously make them look a lot better at the same time. If people just have fillings they want to have replaced because they do age, mm -hmm. just like if it, especially the old amalgams, and then, doesn't anybody have those anymore? <laughs> no, they're really gone. I know nobody does it, but I bet there's people watching who still have them. But you can have them replaced and they're replaced with a very hard um, filling now, correct? Yeah, that's correct. There's a couple of options involved now, either mm -hmm. a composite resin material, which is like a plastic mm -hmm. resin, um, which is fine for small to medium fillings. Mm -hmm. In larger or more elaborate cases, we tend to use porcelain now. Mm -hmm. Now, both these materials are so like natural tooth structure that they're virtually indistinguishable, mm -hmm. and they're a lot better to the tooth and kinder to the tooth than the old amalgam fillings are. Okay, so after the fillings, you then started work on um, straightening. That was done with the porcelain. Yeah. Um, well, what we do is we reshape fillings. the teeth and realign the teeth by making the porcelain veneers appear to be straighter. So and we have to shape the teeth. you call it a veneer, yeah. explain that. How, how do you, what do you call it? I think it the veneer? easiest way to describe it is like a false nail almost, where it's just a thin shell or a laminate that fits over the front surface of the tooth. Mm -hmm. And by wrapping that around the front surface of the tooth, it's bonded actually to the surface of the and tooth. And this is a permanent? It's permanent. It's porcelain, which is the most like tooth structure that we can get. Is it ever going to fall off? very difficult for these things to fall off um, in the few occasions where we've had to take them off for various reasons we literally have to grind them off just like teeth so mm -hmm. it is a permanent procedure now i'm looking at the they look so real i mean the gums look healthy which and the, the saliva problem that you have um that that still is an issue does this cause any ongoing problems for you um jessica i think um well they'll be a lot safer now because the lack of saliva isn't going to degrade the teeth. Oh, is that right? Oh, not well, the porcelain crown. The porcelain, the porcelain is a lot more robust. Yeah. The porcelain yeah. will never deteriorate. Mm -hmm. um, the problem is with the underlying tooth structure, and now it's protected by the porcelain. The other thing, too, is we're taking preventative measures mm -hmm. so that this doesn't happen again. 
and a very easy thing for Jessica to be doing is just using a fluoride rinse and obviously coming in to see me for maintenance every six months should ensure that there shouldn't be any problems. Mm. Just wonderful. So, all up, how do you feel? I feel great. It's, yeah, it's fantastic. I can't stop smiling. <laughs> <laughs> it makes a difference to life, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Oh, well, great. Well, you know, so pleased that we could actually observe this. I'm really, yeah. really impressed. It's fabulous to know what people can achieve. And just the really awful, difficult question, how much does this cost? <laughs> I knew you were going to ask that. <laughs> Come uh, on. Everybody's watching going, okay. yeah, yeah, it looks great, but how much is it going to cost me? Well, that's a difficult thing to answer. No, because it's not. No, it's because it answer. is, because everybody's just that little bit different. Mm. Um, okay, and every case has to be... One porcelain veneer is how much? can be anywhere, uh, and this is, again, with a porcelain veneer, there's a range. It can be anywhere from uh, $1,500 to $2,000. And okay. a lot of it's quality controlled and, and based on basically the same sort of principles as anything else. Yeah. You get what you pay for. Okay, so if we're looking between 1500 and 2000 for each veneers, and how many veneers? She's had six veneers. You're doing your sums. Mm -hmm. You've yep. worked that out already, Boom haven't you? Yep. We're just here to help and give people a little eye uh, and uh, an insight to what's going on. But yep. uh, congratulations and well done. Thank you very, very much. Very good. Yeah. Dr. Angelo joining.